Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how you can set up an automation that extracts key data from PDF invoice like invoice number, total and due dates and send it straight to Google Sheet or your CRM using Minstrel OCR and OpenAI. Before we dive in, let's quickly go to the Minstrel OCR. It's recently been launched towards the beginning of this month as, a, as of recording. OCI is Optical Character Recognitions. What it means is that it scans your PDF, it scans your pictures and extracts the information which is readable by computer. This is the document. Minstrel pretty much captures almost everything in the document. It looks good at capturing a math equation. It can also recognize different languages. Also, there's an example for Arabic here. They have done some benchmarking. I just to let you know that the benchmarking exercise is done by Minstrel itself, but with their benchmark, it looks like they came up on top pretty much every all the other OCR we currently have. In terms of multi languages, this is also pretty much 99.02 accurate. And these are some of the languages it did the test on it. And most of them looks like it came on top. Before we start building the automation, just to let you know about the pricing. So they has got a free plan which you can sign up and try. Also, there has got a paid version, which is I like to use for my business because it's a pay as you go. So you only pay for things you use. It's not subscription model. You don't have to pay a monthly fee or something like that. It's as you scan, whatever the bill comes up, that's what you'll be paying. So on screen, you can see the system that we'll be building today. But let, before we start building, let me give you a quick walkthrough. The system is divided in two parts. The first part is getting the invoice from your email and uploading into a Google Drive. And the second part is getting that invoice from Google Drive, putting it through different mutual API and extracting the data and then publish it to your CRM or Google Sheet. We'll be focusing more on the bottom part. If you're interested, for the top part, I'll add a link to the description where you can download the full workflow for free. Let's build the system. We'll be focusing on building the bottom part of the automation step by step. But if you're interested in both part, I will add a link to the description so you can download the template for free. Let's change the name. What we need is that we need Google Drive. We'll be downloading the invoice from Google Drive, but you can have a different ticket. You can have a form ticket where you upload the invoice through a form, or you can use in various other methods where you can upload the invoice into this automation. We'll be using Google Drive. We'll have a dedicated folder where we'll upload all our invoices. As soon as the system detects a new file, the automation will trigger automatically. I am not going to go through how to set up the authentication. I have a separate video where I show you how you can set up the Google Drive authentication. I'll link that video in here somewhere. In the Google Drive trigger, you have this option where you can select every minute, every hour. It depends how frequently you want Google Drive trigger to check your Google Drive folder for new invoices. So changes involve in a specific folder. So for us, it would be youtube watch for file created let's do a test yes looks like it's working let's pin the data so that we don't always have to make an api call every time we do testing we can use this test data for new new info it's a good idea to always rename your notes once you start building professionally you will have many notes so it's better to name it correctly so then you can identify when it comes to troubleshooting Next stage is downloading the invoice from Google Drive so that we can feed that so that we can feed that into the API core to a minstrel. We need another Google Drive node. Download the file using the same credential. We leave the resources as file operation you're gonna download. The only thing you need to change here instead of choosing it from the folder, we wanna have this dynamically mapped to the previous node. So we'll go by ID. To get the ID, to search your ID, yeah, let's test. We can click this button to see the invoice itself, or we can download the invoice here. To complete the next step, we need to go back to the Minstrel API documentation. If you remember when I'm at the beginning, what I said that if you remember what I said at the beginning, we'll complete the OCR process in three different stages. First stage is we upload our document. As part of that, they will give us an ID. 
then we use that ID to get our URL and we'll feed that URL to next API call to actually extract the text from the invoice. This is the Minstrel API documentation page for OCR. Once you get into the OCR, always look for curl will make our life much easier when it's come to making a HTTP call. So once you copy the curl, they can't come back to our canvas to HTTP request. Copy that one, HTTP request, import call. Oh, we would. Because you use the curl, we didn't have to fill out all this information. If you don't use curl, then you have to manually type all this up. If the API documentation doesn't provide you a curl, what you can do is simply copy this, go to the chat GPT, then type generate. Can you generate curl? from the below doc. Paste everything there. Then you can copy from here and import as a curl. For our case, we don't have to do it because uh, Minstrel has provided us with the curl. So we copy the curl from here. Go back to automation. Looks like you already imported that. Then we'll set up an API key. To get the API key, you need to head to Minstrel, sign up and select a free account or pay as you go. Once you do that, come back to the API keys and generate an API key in here. For me, I already generated once, I'm not going to generate again, but what I'll do is I'll copy that and put it in here. The only other thing we need to do in here, we have to map our map our binary file, which is the name is the data. Data. Test. Beautiful. It's working. Let's spin that data. I want to give you a quick tip if you have to make a call to same API multiple times. So what you can do, you can come here, generic credential, then you go to the header authorization, and then as you create one, it will be authorization, put it in here, making sure we type pair, space, save, and then turn this off so you don't have to manually type your API key every time you're making a HTTP request to Minstrel. Cool, let's move to the next one. So the next step of the process is we need to get our URL. So we need to make another HTTP request. Okay, we need to get our call, which is in here. Get sign URL, there you go. Input call, there you go. It's automatically populated. So what we're going to do, we're going to delete that and then select credential type, header authentication. The only thing you need to change in here is that on the URL we have this ID. That's the ID we have collected from our last HTTP request. We can copy and paste it here, but what we'll do, we'll dynamically fit that in. So every time there's a new inverse, you don't have to manually change it. We'll grab that and put it in between. There you go. Now, test the steps. We don't have to change anything. We just leave it as it is. You see, we get our URL. So if you take that URL and put it into the browser, as we can see, it's downloaded the actual file. Rename to get URL. Haven't renamed that one. ID. This is the final HTTP request. We'll be sending it to Minstrel to extract the PDF information to text format so that our model can read it. Go back to click HTTP request to import the curl. Quick tip, if you receive the invoice as an image, there's a different curl you can use, which is here on the bottom. If you have a some invoice you receive PDF, some invoice if you receive image, you can do an if function at the beginning to filter them through a different path. For our case, we will we'll copy this, import curl, a ton of our header, then we'll use our generic header. The only thing we need to change here is, is this, go to the expression, drag our URL, test, click as a table, JSON, Look like it's output of the OCR output data. Let's click view. Yeah, I can see all my information, my 
invoice information one thing you notice that all of this information extracted under one field which is markdown so if we map this directly to our excel spreadsheet everything is going to be put into that one particular cell we won't be able to map it individually what i need from here is a chat module we use open ai messenger model we need an open ai api key to get the api key we need to go to platform platform.openai.com once you logged in click settings on the left api key once you successfully connect to your account then the resources will be selecting text operation will be messaging a model the model you can choose either anything from four or mini to four or but for our case it will be selecting four or mini once we selected our model which is four or mini then we'll have to have two prompt one is a system prompt one is a user prompt so the first one will be a system prompt i have already prepared a prompt let me paste it in here and what you wanted to do through this prompt is extract the information from this markdown area and extract it in a way that we can dynamically reference that information to our google sheet or crm as you remember from our previous note everything was extracted under this field which is markdown to use this information effectively we need to separate this in an individual field and that's what we'll be doing using that prompt the prompt is you are an invoice extraction assistant your job is to extract structure invoice data from raw plain text document and return it in a clean JSON form and suitable for sending to a Google Sheet or automated platform. I also specified the output format, what data I want, but depends on your invoice, uh, this might change. So just to look at what type of invoice you're getting, and that's what we wanted to put it in here. But most of the invoice will have these fields. I set some rules, always return a single JSON object, which is really important that we can reference to individual field. The prompt will be available with the free download, which I will add the link added to the description. So this is our system prompt. Then user prompt is basically what you want to type it is here. I don't know how to spell text expression the gen. Making sure that we put this output content at JSON. Let's do a test. Looks like it worked. As we wanted, we wanted individual fields. That's so obviously invoice ID, invoice date, so on. You can see everything is returned in a separate individual field. Now is the final note. For us, it'll be Google Sheet. Append, append a row in the sheet. That's the one. Select that one. There's two ways you can map this to the Google Sheet. One is a manual way, basically dragging each of the individual one and map it to the right cell. Another one we can do is map automatically. I map it to the in individual feed. So making sure that I always get consistent output from the AI model and its reference to this uh, Google spreadsheet consistently. We're just going to drag it. I intentionally use a real invoice so making sure that the automation works for real invoices. I didn't want to download a fake one from the internet or mock up invoice. Cool. Let's test it. The data has appeared on this Excel spreadsheet. There we have it. It's a very simple but very effective invoice data extraction method using NA10. It will work every single time if the invoice is a PDF. But if there's a if you're dealing with mixed, if you're dealing with a mixed invoice, like you, sometimes you get a PDF and sometimes you might get a different format like a photo or something as an invoice, there's a way you can actually incorporate that. It's part of the menstrual OCA documentation. There's a different method in it to use. As part of this automation, I only focus on the bottom part, which is processing the PDF invoice to Google Sheet or any CRM. But for the top part, uploading invoice PDF to the Google Drive, I will include that this workflow in the template so you can download it for free and import it in your N810 workflow. If you're still with me, thanks for watching. Give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. That will definitely help the channel. I plan to 
publish regular NA10 full tutorial. Until next time, thank you.